start out, we're going to attach the thread at the eye and just build up a little head where we're going to put on our barbell eye. So the barbell eye, we're actually going to stick it on the bottom side of the hook, like so, and then work back down to the bend. Now here we're going to tie in the tail, which will consist of about three fibers of some uh, golden crystal flash and some pheasant rump fibers, preferably the matching brown color. I want to measure off about a body length there and attach that. And what I'll do, I actually work this back up to the thorax area, build up a nice little tapered body and then snip off any excess. Now we're going to tie in the material for the body which will consist of one flash of or one strand of orange crystal flash and that's going to be used for the ribbing. And then for the back, or the top of this fly, the shell, we're going to use some thin skin. And this is just a tan black with specks. And just enough to go the length of the fly. So you get your tie-in point to be nice and clean. Now we're going to go ahead and create our dubbing loop. And that's just done by taking my dubbing loop hook tool and just creating a hook, a length of dubbing or loop that's about two and a half, three times the length of the, the shank of the hook. And then you go back over the loop, securing it on the hook, and then wrap forward. where I'm going to go ahead and tie off a little half hitch and rest this on my bobbin cradle because I'm going to use the rotary on this. Now what we'll do here is actually take some dubbing and this is a UV dub uh, it's a golden brown ice dubbing from Hairline and you just take little bits of this dubbing in between my loop and slide it up and we'll create the whole loop like that. Yeah, once we've got our dubbing in there, I'm just going to go ahead and spin this. Creates a nice tight loop. Then I'm going to grab my dubbing teaser here and I just want to tease out some of these fibers so that they'll stand out perpendicular from the hook and not be all bunched up. I want it, this gives it a nice buggy effect like that. Okay, once we've got that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap forward. Tie that off. And work nice little head here okay next thing I'm going to secure my thin skin and I'm just going to do that right at the head and then I also want to take a wrap right behind the eye or right behind the the barbells and cinch that down and then go back in front and then I'm going to snip off the excess thin skin helps to have good sharp scissors to do that to get that really tight and close then the final step I'm going to grab my orange crystal flash and just create a ribbed segmentation on the fly Now you could use wire on this. I like to use this because it's flashy and it uh, 
has a nice reflection to it. And then if you want, we can come back underneath here and just kind of brush that out. You have to be careful if you have this crystal flash and you don't want to break that. Okay, now once we've got the tie, the fly tied, I'm going to go ahead and apply a thin uh, coating of clear cure goo along the back side here in order to give it an epoxy back. And so you got to clean up the back side a little bit, get the fibers out of the way. And then just simply apply from head to end. Zap it. There we go.